thanks for tuning in. This is Tracy's World. I'm Tracy. My friends call me Willie. And like I always say, if you my friend, you can call me Willie too. Look, check this out. Tonight, we're going to do meatloaf. Now, I don't just do the traditional meatloaf. I add a little bit of stuff to mine. And I want you guys to come on go with me. After it gets all done, it's going to take a little while. But you know camera magic. Then we're going to taste it. For the main ingredient, you know exactly what it is. Bam! Hamburger. 2.75 pounds of hamburger. I'm always cooking for the next day. Like, I don't want to just eat a meal and then... It's done. We need some onion. I'll be using some Worcestershire sauce, black pepper, regular salt, chicken stock, garlic powder, thyme, tomato paste, diced tomatoes, sweet baby raised barbecue sauce. I like spicy, so I got the sweet and spicy. Panko breadcrumbs and two eggs. And one of my secret ingredients is boom bacon pieces these are fully cooked bacon pieces they're 100 percent bacon so let me say every one of these ingredients we bought with our own corn we have no sponsors so in this hot skillet i'm going to spray some olive oil cooking spray So I got my meatloaf done and along with the meatloaf we have um, macaroni and cheese and this is box macaroni and cheese. I always doctor my stuff up. I don't just eat it strictly as the box says to eat it and then I have asparagus. Now my asparagus are kind of shriveled up. I actually put them in the air fryer is what I did. I put them in the air fryer and uh, kind of cooked them a little bit too long. I don't really care for them this shriveled up. 
All right, so I always pray over my food. Now, this meatloaf here, I got, I'll got. i tell you about in a minute. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for this food. And I ask you in the name of Jesus Christ to bless it, that it be for nourishment of my bodies and no impurities would enter in. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so I showed you the, the bacon. Like I was going to put bacon in it. Why, I completely forget. Oh, that's good. Mm-hmm. It's got onions and stuff in it. Of course, you already seen how I did it. But it's not real dense. I learned by trial and error that you can't um, mush your, your hamburger up so that it's, you know, like real mushy. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. I mean, you can make your topping as you want. I just like barbecue sauce mixed with ketchup. I bet you guys thought I was going to put them tomatoes inside my hamburger, didn't you? Mm -hmm. With this uh, macaroni and cheese, it's Kraft macaroni and cheese. And I always add this water. It's Kraft macaroni and cheese. And I always add um, butter, milk, and shredded cheese of your choice. See that stringy? Mm -hmm. I didn't realize that you could eat these raw. You don't have to cook these. And did you know that asparagus help filter your kidneys? It helps clean your kidneys out. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. I believe that's why when you um if you ever those of you that eat asparagus you ever eat them and then go use the bathroom and your pee stink Some people put ketchup on their um, meatloaf. The cheese that I put in here is um, Kraft. I think it's called Trio. It's like sharp cheddar, mild cheddar, and either Monterey Jack or something. I like to have a whole bunch of different cheeses. When they first came out of the air fryer, the tips of them were crunchy. That's how I like them. Nice crunchy tip.
I don't really have much to talk about, guys. Not today. If you try it this way, then you can add whatever seasonings you want. That's what I like about meatloaf. I can put a meat meatloaf on a sandwich. Give me some bread and some mayonnaise, or um, I prefer a miracle whip. Oh. Mm. I, that'll work until oh, like the next day. I'll make a sandwich or something, make a meatloaf sandwich or something. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> <laughs> Let me know your comments at the bottom, whether you're a meatloaf lover or not. I forgot to put the green peppers in it. I forgot to put the bacon in it. It still tastes good. Uh. That was good. Ain't nothing like a good belch when you get done eating. Right, guys look i'm all done thanks for tuning in this is trace's world <laughs> trace's world i'm tracy my friends call me willing like i always say if you my friend you more than welcome to call me willie too look, i'll talk to you later leave your comments at the bottom like my video and subscribe to my channel bye bye